All right, so Lauren, uh, obviously a tough one tonight. Just uh, your thoughts on, on three nothing at Portland. Yeah, I mean, Portland's a good team, um, and this is a hard place to come play. But I definitely think that we battled in the first half. Um, I just think, you know, we they scored two goals basically back to back, and I think that that's something that we need to look at and um, refocus on because um, I definitely think that we um, can do better for sure. In an experience like this, um, I, I know you, you guys have been talking a lot about building to next year. Um, what do you take away from a game like this, a crowd like this, um, the frustration from this, uh, and, and use it in, in a way to help going forward? Yeah, I mean, I think these this feeling always stings, right? So I think, like, you know, if we can remember how this feels and kind of put that in perspective, but also like take the positives. There's like some good moments in that game for sure for us. Um, so I think you just kind of have to like, I mean, we've got a game pretty soon here, you know, so you just kind of have to like roll with that. Like, yes, it happened. Now we need to like move on from it. And if we can have kind of a short term memory and like take what the good parts and then translate that into the next game, that's really important for us. Cause I think if we spend too much time dwelling on losses like this, then it doesn't do us any good. Um, I think we can look at things that we can improve on. Absolutely. But I think we need to like refocus again um, so that we can again, keep building um, because we do have, I think in my opinion, a lot that we can build on. It's just like, in my opinion, it's small details right now for us. Becky, go ahead. If you have any questions. I guess the, a number of times this season racing has had games where you've had a good half and a not so half. Um, what do you think is causing that kind of unevenness? Do you think it's, you know, the, the youth and the inexperience of the players on the team in some ways to carry it all the way through and to have a complete game? Um, do you, is it those little details you mentioned? Can you speak to that a tiny bit? Yeah, I think a big goal for us would just be putting together 90 minutes. I think that's something we've definitely struggled with this year. Um, I don't think it's youth. I think a lot of our young players are actually very mature um, and have done a very good job of, of holding their own. Um, I think it's, again, just little details and complete and total concentration. I mean, having two back-to-back goal, I think it happened like, what, three minutes apart um, is what it felt like. I think that's pretty – like, that's stuff we can – change and we can refocus so like you know the first five minutes after goal are so crucial like can we refocus and there's no goals in that period right like or can we go a bit long I think it's just again it's like little small details that like we can help ourselves (laughs) in those moments where like maybe we're not playing as well or like maybe they have a lot of momentum okay can we put a couple balls behind you know I think it's just like little twists in our mentality when stuff you know maybe starts to hit the fan a little bit, you know what I mean? They're like refocusing our group, you know? And how do you refocus as a group? Is that something you just need to learn to do and communicate together? Like what, what are the next steps you, you take to work on that? Yeah, I think it's just like maybe in moments like that, like bringing people together and just kind of like, I think we just need to take the air out a little bit. You know, I think sometimes especially in Portland, especially with a crowd like this, like it's really loud in there. It's hard to communicate. So I think like just encouraging people. And then again, like I keep saying, it's just like little details, like maybe for a few minutes, we can go a bit longer, you know, like finding those gaps in in the midfield was really good for us for um, some points in time. So I just think, yeah, just so those, those details definitely do matter, especially in, in the NWSL. And last question, in the first half, you guys really played your way back into the game very well. Um, You know, you had a, there was a good barrage of goals early on, they were blocked, and then you guys got some more control, created some chances. What went right there? Like, what, what allowed you to play back into the game so well as that half progressed? Yeah, I think anytime people are making blocks like that, it kind of boosts the, boosts the morale, not morale, but like just the energy of the team. Um, and I think that uh, we just were sitting a bit higher, which was was good for us. It's definitely something we've talked about. So I think that that helped. Um, and we were winning balls higher up and, and getting crosses in, which was good. Um, I mean, uh, we had two people hit the post today. So I think 
um, if we're in and around those areas, we are dangerous. It's just like getting us into those areas. And I thought like for periods in the first half, um, we were doing really well at that of like getting it wide and then swinging it. And so I think that's where I'm like, you know, there are definitely some positives um, to take from this. Not every game is gonna is is gonna go our way and have the right result, but if we can take those positives, move on from it, and then keep rolling, I think that that's the move at this point. Great, thank you. No problem. Okay, thanks, Lauren. Yeah.